Okay, before I even start with the makeup and stuff like that, I'm going to show you guys what I've been using on my skin. Um, you guys told me to use like a tea tree oil to like get rid of the dark marks. Um, if you haven't watched my skincare video, go watch that video because you might not know what I'm talking about if you guys are just watching this video. So I switched what I was using on my skin. I still use the black soap, but I only use the black soap once a week. But for like facial cleansing wash, I'll just use this tea tree skin cleansing facial wash that I got from Ulta in the little sample section like when you're about to check out they have those little bins and stands right there so I got this from that stand so I've been using this and I've actually been liking the way it's making my skin look it's making it look more glowy I guess you can say and then I use this tiny tea tree oil to like go over my spots after I wash my face with this I'll go in with this with a cotton ball and I'll put this on, on the little mark that I have on my face and then I'll put it under my eyes and on top I don't know if I'm supposed to put it on top of my eyes but I do because I do have dark circles and then I just put it on the rest of my face and I do the same thing to my neck so that's kind of my updated skincare routine experiment type thing okay so now that that skincare stuff is all out the way I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the NYX pore filler that I always use Use and I am running out once again and I probably won't repurchase this because I do want to try some new stuff but this does work really really great to mattify your face and fill in your pore because I've been using this for like forever okay now that I prime my face I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows with the brown eyeshadow that I always use if you guys want a brown not a foundation routine if you guys are interested in how I do my eyebrows I'll link that video below um because I'm just gonna speed through this part so yeah okay so I noticed that using the LA girl pro concealer is a little bit too liquidy and when I go to like blend the concealer out it moves all over the place so to stop it from doing that I let the concealer sit on my eyes while I'm priming my eyelids or priming my face and then I go back to my eyebrows and blend it out so that might help some of you guys because that's what I do so now I'm going to be priming my eyelids with the studio finish concealer in NC 45 and then I'm going to go back to my eyebrow and blend that out Okay, so I put my eyeshadow primer on. It's really not an eyeshadow primer, but I use it as an eyeshadow primer. And then I'm just going to take it and blend this eyeshadow, well, this concealer out. And then I'm going to blend my concealer that I put on my brows. I'm going to blend that out as well. So yeah, that's my little tip for today. And if you guys try that trick, let me know how it works for you in my comment section. For my transition color, I'm going to use this orangey color right here from this Morphe palette that Jaclyn Hill created. And I'm going to be using a Coastal Scents brush and this is the number BR250. I've never done a tutorial while I'm actually like talking while I'm doing my makeup. I always do voiceovers, so yeah i'm trying something new if you guys like this type of tutorial let me know because i really don't do these often because sometimes my niece and nephew are up running around the house and i can't talk while i'm doing my makeup because they're yelling in the background now because this is going to be the purple smoky eye i'm gonna start doing the purples now i'm gonna take room berry by coastal scent and put this into my crease and I'm using the same brush for this whole entire look because I am blending everything together so I'm just using the same brush for my eyes and we're just gonna keep building um, building the pigmentation up everything I'm using today is going to be matte so you won't have any problems with creasing and I'm going to do the same thing to this eye I'm just gonna start from the outer corner and then blend inward I'm not going all the way in um because i just don't want to so if you guys are going to recreate this look you don't need as many purples as i'm using um i'm just going overboard with it i'm going to use this plum color from the reveal 2 palette from coastal scent and pop that into my crease as well am i out of focus wow so yeah that's how that plum color is looking i do want to keep my eyes open so that's why i haven't put any of this on my lid and my light is going away i'm going to use this so suzanne palette i'm going to use this color right here and put that right on top of that now to deepen my crease like to make it look really really dark and smoky i'm going to use this dark purple right here and put this into the outer corners of my eye and i'm not going to take it in like i've been taking in all the other shadows I'm just gonna keep it right here at the edge of my eye. So for my lids, 
I am going to go to the Reveal 2 palette and I'm going to take this. What color is this? I don't know. It's like a cool toned lavender purple. I don't know. But that's going to go on my eyelids because I told you guys I want to keep my eyes open. I'm just going to pack that on my lid. And I'm using a e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and this is a dollar. You can get it online or you can get it from Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens. Yeah, those stores. And I'm going to go back and blend everything out and put the dark purple at the edge of my eyebrow. Not eyebrow, but eye. So yeah, that is it for the eyeshadow part of this video. Now I'm going to line my eyelids with the Wet n Wild liquid liner that I always use. I can never get my wings to look the same, like, never look the same, which is so annoying. Dang, I should have just left it. I just messed it up. Ugh. Now I'm going to put some lashes on, and these are the same lashes that I got um, from Amazon, and I'll link them down below. So yeah, they're already stacked, and I'm going to put these on, and, and I'm using the dark toned duo glue okay so i'm gonna go ahead and color correct my face with this orange shade from the nyx conceal correct and contour palette that i got from ulta i wanted to try color correcting because i do have dark marks on my face so i wanted to try something to color correct and i wanted to try something else to contour it because if you watch my videos you guys know that i always use the black up cosmetics contouring stick and that is pretty pricey so I wanted, I wanted to give you guys another alternative to contour with. Okay, so to blend all this out, I'm just going to use this brush that I got from a set on eBay. And I'll link that set down below. If you guys have a beauty blender, you can use a beauty blender to blend this um, out. I'm just using this brush because both of my beauty blenders are dirty. And I'm going to be using those for my foundation. I don't want to change the color of the correcting concealer or corrector so i'm just going to use a clean brush and blend this out evenly okay so now that i have color corrected i'm going to go in with the fit me foundation and 355 this is too light for me but i'm going to put it in the center of my face and then i'm going to put my mac match master on the perimeter of my face the reason why i got this color is because this is the darkest foundation that they had with the matte and poreless line with the dewy line they had they had a color that was darker and i think that was my color but i'm oily so i didn't want anything that will you know dry to a dewy finish because that's just going to make me look oily and this does remind me of the mac uh studio fix if I'm not mistaken, is the cheapest foundation that MAC has that reminds me of this one. It doesn't have a pump at all. So if you do have that MAC foundation and you're looking for a dupe, this will be a good dupe. Sorry if this lighting is annoying. The sun is like right over my window. So it's making the lines that you guys see on me. I apologize, <laughs> but I don't like using my studio light. So I have to record when the sun is out. And then I'm just gonna blend this foundation out with this sponge. And I am sick, so excuse me if I'm sniffing all throughout this video. I really don't feel good, but, but I wanted to get up and do something because I don't have to go to work today. And I was just sitting in my bed. Well, laying in my bed doing nothing, which was making me feel worse. So I had to get up and do something. And it's a Friday. Yo, I was not recording. <sighs> Okay, so obviously my camera was not recording me do all of this. So I contoured my face and set my face. I contoured my face with the NYX Color Correct and Conceal Palette. And I just used this dark color right here. And then I set my contour with the Black Radiance um, Pressed Powder in Ebony. Um, I don't know where it cut off at. And then, and then I highlighted my face with the Sublime Powder. And now I'm going to go on top of that powder with the elf healthy glow bronzer in warm tan and i'm just gonna put this right on top of that where's my brush yeah i did decide to turn this video into a q a because i was just sitting here and i noticed that you guys don't really know me so i started answering questions and obviously my camera was not recording
recording where is my fan brush right in front of me so i'm going to answer these questions again it's so annoying i'm putting this elf highlighter right on top of that and that just makes it more noticeable like dang she really did highlight her face yes i did I know some of you guys asked me if I set my under eye highlight and I do not um, because I don't like the way it looks. I am thinking about trying the Ben Eye Banana Powder but um, I don't know if I want to try it yet because all the powders that I've tried just looks ridiculous. Um, all I did was put my hair up in a high puff and then to lay my edges down I used the Eco Styler Gel and I also used this for my baby hair as well and now I'm going to make it look like a high knot type of puff ball and bobby pin like front of it down in some type of way and like smush it together okay so 14 weeks ago i posted a picture on my instagram thank you guys for 15k and i told you guys that i would do a q a but i never got around to it so i'm going to answer those questions in this video so the first question is by soul style beauty she does have a youtube channel her name is imari if i'm not mistaken but yeah she said congratulations shani what is your dream job and how old are you my dream job my niece and nephew, you hear them. My dream job, I don't really have a dream job. It's so many stuff I, I want to do. I do eventually want to go back to school and get my bachelor's degree and then go back and go to school for law. And then again, I want to pursue YouTube. And if this becomes a career, then that will be dope. I just want to be happy doing what I love and be able to take care of myself and be able to take care of my family and my moms and be able to travel when I want, be very financially stable. I guess YouTube can be a dream job. Where are you from? I am from North Carolina. Am I supposed to even tell you guys that? How did you learn how to do makeup? I don't know, I was always a artist type of person um, or I started wearing makeup in ninth grade and then I started wearing it more because I had dance recitals to go to and I had to do my makeup for those events and I got better at it and then people wanted me to do their makeup and some people wanted me to do their eyebrows so it just started progressing a little bit more so I guess that's how I started doing makeup because I was in dance class and I was a cheerleader so I had to put makeup on for those events and stuff like that so that's how I I guess learned how to do makeup how long have you been natural I've been natural for a year and I'm probably six seven eight months or something like that do I have any regimens no I don't I really don't have any regimens for my hair at all yeah I really don't do anything to my hair but put it up in a puff co-wash it and put a wig on put some weave in um but yeah I really don't do anything but put it up in a puff ball <laughs> Derek, one of my ex co-workers he said i remember when you first started these videos you've come a long way thank you Derek. <laughs> life by francis another youtuber i'll link his channel down below where's your dream place to live i don't know where i want to live i know i want to visit canada i know i want to go to new york but i don't want to live in new york um i know i want to eventually go to la but i don't want to live in la maybe dubai dubai is so beautiful i want to go there Dubai, Canada, or Jamaica, those three places. And he said, congrats on 15K. Thank you, Francis. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Amber. You are so pretty. I think you're one of the prettiest people I've ever, oh, that was sweet. But can you do more videos on your natural hair? I don't do anything to my natural hair. I don't do anything to my hair at all. I just don't like most of the natural styles on me, so. I just put it up in a puff ball. Are you ever interested in doing collaborations? Um, if you watch my vlog, I kind of explain why I wasn't doing any collaborations right now. But to go a little bit more in detail about collaborations, I gravitate towards people that I already see in my comment section and I gravitate towards people that um, I'm already subscribed to. If you have good content, you're pretty consistent and you're already like subscribed to me and I already like, interact with you over YouTube, then I will feel more comfortable with collabing with them. But if you're like a random and stuff like that, I'm not going to feel as comfortable. I just don't want to collaborate with random people that aren't genuine 
genuine and don't really care for YouTube and don't really care about you know their content and what they're creating I am interested the lip gloss that I'm putting on is this butter gloss by NYX and it's the number BLG 07 and this is like my go-to lip color um, I didn't even finish my eyes okay so I'm gonna highlight my inner corners with that same elf highlighter and I'm just going to highlight my tear duct just like that and then I'm gonna put mascara on my bottom lashes so they just won't be bare and this is the Ruby Kisses Very Sexy Mascara and I got this from the beauty supply store. Nothing serious. So I think that's done. I think I'm done with my face. I just have to set it with this L'Oreal spray. Um, Last question. I love your videos. What kind of camera do you use? I use the Canon Rebel T3i and I don't have a different lens. I use the kit lens that comes with the camera and this is the 8 by 55 millimeter that is it for the questions um yeah i hope you guys like this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye but I'm Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a fall slash winter haul. So if you guys want to see this fall, please stay tuned and keep watching.